So hello, sweet souls. Um, this afternoon, I want to offer you a meditation that we practice every year in our yoga class right before Easter. We think about how far we've been, we've come since Ash Wednesday, and in this season, wow, it's been quite a journey for all of us. So we take time today to meditate on the sufferings of Christ as predicted by the prophet Isaiah 700 years before Jesus was born. Um, a number of years ago, I was at a Seder dinner with a Messianic rabbi who, who displayed for us that, the matzah and said that um, when they celebrate Passover, they recognize now the matzah as um, exemplifying the body of Christ and the piercings of the matzah as being the piercings that Jesus endured on the cross of his head through his crown of thorns, um, his wrists, his feet, and um, the sword that pierced his side. So those are the piercings of Christ, the holes in the matzah and the bread of Christ, body of Christ. And the, the stripes from the baking of the matzah represent the stripes of his scourging, his whipping, by which we are healed. And in our ritual, we also use a little bit of honey or something sweet to represent the joy that um, Jesus brings us through his resurrection and his promise and our hope of, of joining him in eternal life, which he, he just reaches out and offers to us day by day to be renewed and know his joy. He tells us of his love so that our joy might be full. So I invite you to, if you don't have these things out already, to pause here, go get a cracker or um, matzah if you have it and something sweet some honey or maybe some preserves if you don't have honey in the house so pause here and when you come back we'll continue with our um, ritual for today I invite you now to settle into wherever you are and just look around take a moment to settle and notice your surroundings I hope you're in a place where you're nice and comfortable, where, you're, where it's quiet, where you have a moment to yourself where you can savor this and enjoy it. Um, and so settling in, take a moment to now to listen. We'll close our eyes if that's comfortable. If it isn't, just cast your eyes down softly and take a moment to listen. This trains us to be listening inside for that still, small voice, God's presence within. So just listen. And now becoming aware of the atmosphere where you're sitting. So wherever we are, we carry sacred space with us. God is always present around, above, and below, and within. Can you take just a moment to be aware of the atmosphere where you're sitting? Maybe feeling a gentle brush of breeze if you're outside. Maybe noticing a fragrance. Maybe you're cooking something yummy. You're just noticing. And remember that in this space, you are seen. You are known. You are loved. And you're held. And then noticing your body and settling in. If you need to move around to become more comfortable and make some shifts, whatever you need to do, be aware of how your body feels and allow yourself to be comfortable here. And then take a moment to notice your breath. So just allow the breath to become smooth and easy if that's possible for you today. Just breathing in and out through your nose, maybe just a long, smooth inhale and just let it out in whatever way is comfortable for you. And as you rest in your breath, I'll share with you our first scripture for today, and that is from Isaiah 53, again, written 700 years before Jesus came. Who has believed our report, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He has no form or comeliness, and when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. 
As we hid our faces from him, he was despised, and we did not esteem him. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded, pierced for our transgressions. I invite you now to pick up your matzah or whatever it is you have to use as the body of Christ today. Take it in your hands, feel it, and then break it in half. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. So I invite you now to take half of the cracker or matzah and eat that. Notice how it feels in your mouth. And recall that as you partake of this, it becomes part of your own body. Notice the flavor. Maybe it's dry. Just notice. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. And just take a moment to sit with that. How do you feel that in your body? Where does it register? Notice how you feel here. But the good news is that's not the end. And 700 years later, the book of Hebrews tells us, Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. So the honey we have here today with us represents the joy that comes on the other side of suffering. I know that in this season, we look forward to that time when we can enjoy one another again, when we can get out in fellowship and enjoy all those things that we love. So I invite you to dip the matzah in the honey, take it in, and enjoy the sweetness that overcomes suffering. I invite you to taste mindfully the sweetness here. And remember, this is what waits for you in Christ today, in Christ forever. I love